howdy, hey. You don't know what's happening. It's sitting upright with the plate on it, fixing to go in the quarry hole. What's, so, first off, what's today? Friday <laughs> at 10.30 at night. And we're putting her back in. Hopefully, we're going to make it to Mountain View tomorrow. Guys, this has just been a headache this week. Mm -hmm. We have found a couple of issues. If you don't follow the Facebook page, um, kind of already told everybody what was going on. But if you don't follow the Facebook page at Shad Motorsports, what happened with the motor was that there was a uh, high pressure, high volume oil pump on the front of this thing. And it basically ate itself. It, uh, we believe that the casing was warped just because of the wear patterns that it chewed. Um, very, very awkward and weird how it done it. That's the only explanation that we can give. Because um, the metal was but was from the pump to the filter. There was nothing after the filter. There was nothing in the pan. There's it, nothing up top. Like we took, we took a fine tooth comb and went over everything. Yeah, I pulled the whole motor down. Yeah. So and everything was perfect. So put a new oil pump in it, and the oil pump that they sent us is actually better looking. It looks stronger. The parts inside of it look better. It looks better than the first one. So we don't know what happened. May have got a, a no. weird defect knockoff type deal. We don't know. A second. Yeah. Something. Something got passed through inspection that wasn't supposed to. But nonetheless, we <laughs> For the up. second time in a row, the water pump was like that. <laughs> yeah, the water pump we got before. Didn't even have that didn't nipple have... welded on the end of it. But you... Oh, that's... You bolted the freaking plastic It'll in. be all right. It'll be it didn't all right. have this little knobby knob on there, if you can see it there, right there. It didn't have it on there. Yeah, they forgot to weld that on. We're back. <laughs> uh, as you can hear in the last part there, uh, had a homemade bomb go off. Uh, <laughs> Sasha was uh, sitting around in a chair with her leg up, you know, just trying to relax. And I thought I got all the... Uh, brake parts cleaner cans out of the cardboard boxes we were gonna burn and I didn't. So uh, her helpless self couldn't get away, but she's okay. So uh, anyway, like like we were saying. Uh, defects on parts is what got us this week. Uh, but nonetheless, tonight this motor will be back in the car, hooked up, ready to go. Um, and then tomorrow we're gonna start up, make sure everything works properly. Uh, bought a new oil temperature gauge. Uh, well, bought a oil temperature gauge. We didn't have one before, which was obviously a mistake, but it's getting fixed. Well, uh, that, if anything, when you put in a new motor, especially of this kind, like an LS, oil temperature gauge is non questionable. Get one. I should have had one anyway. All right. Um, we, we see a lot of people running them, but we kind of, we didn't run one the whole last time since we've been running the crate. So we didn't even think to think, we didn't even think to get one. So, um, but we got one now. We got to install it tonight or in the morning. Um, got to wash it because uh, we got the, yeah. Got to fix that quarter where I. Somebody decided to be high side right now. Yeah, where I decided to ride the high side and yeah, tap the wall. He's now driving an open wheel. Um, so. <laughs> So now, anyways, that's it for the coverage on it. We're going to uh, try to get this bad boy back in there and get it bolted down, hook every all the accessories and pumps and stuff like that back up, get a radiator in, fill it full of water. Also, we upgraded from a three-blade fan to a six-blade. And we never had this problem with our other motor. No, because I had honestly could have took one off. I had a 17-inch fan. But because of this crank mandrel and the difference in the LS, I had to go to a 15 inch fan. So we added three more blades to make it a six blade. I put a water restrictor in the uh, water pump. Um, I changed my steam port setup because I believe it had an air pocket in it. So that is literally everything we can do to keep this thing cool. I don't know what to do beyond this point. We're going to change it check a few things on the carburetor because that is a brand new carburetor that we got for this motor we're going to check a few things on it and make sure that 
what it was advertised is correct. Uh, as y'all seen in the last video, we was changing stuff on the carburetor, and it actually helped it. Uh, so we think there was the information we got on the carburetor when it, we ordered it from Holly. It was a little off and wrong, so we're going to try to look it over tonight or in the morning. Change some jets, put yeah. some more jet in it. Yeah, and because it, it loved it, uh, which is crazy. I never would have thought that a 4.8 would love as much fuel as this thing's asking for. Like, we have got a pretty decent big carburetor on it, and it is asking for more. And we, I'm okay with it. I mean, it's... It's crazy, but nonetheless, uh, we're going to get this thing in the car, so stick around with us, and we will get, get you back in the video once this thing's in the car. Quick little thing. We was talking about we ended up getting three more blades for this fan. Actually, we did it. Um, don't know who it was. I wasn't there. Uh, somebody called up at PPM and paid for three fans in the hardware kit for Kyle. Three blades. Yeah, three of these blades and three hardware kits for Kyle. Was instructed to give them to me to deliver to Kyle. Uh, we still don't know who it is, but thank you very much. Yeah, Mr. John Doe. I yeah. think that's what they said that's his name was. they gave us for the car name, was John Doe. So, um, And it, it was a crossable zip code is all I know. Um, yeah, so thank you very much, who, whoever you are. I got a good idea, but I'm not going to shout that out. But thank you very, very much. It, it helped us with the offset on having to buy the parts to go through this engine again, and I, I really appreciate it. Yep. So, again, thank you. Um, it's people like y'all that make us happy and proud to do what we do here, um, along with all of you viewers. It's just it's great to have the support that y'all have given us over the last year and a half doing this YouTube deal. Um, we just thank you very much, and we just hope and pray you stick around with us as we work through the kinks of this new setup. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching. I hope y'all like the rest of the video and we give you some great racing content. Thank you. Wait up, huh? Getting sparked up for tomorrow's race, you know what I'm saying? What time is it? It's 12.30. Uh, on Friday night. Of course, you just, you just seen it. Me saying that it was Friday, but whatever. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, yeah, it's not here anymore. It's over in the old gal. So. I'll, I was just going to get Hunter to say hi, but my, my thing I was headed to was to to show y'all a little tip. Hang on, what you doing there for a second, Hunter? So, don't have to be a pink marker, but pink's easy to see. So, guys that don't like to check their nuts and bolts, or they're hard to get to, um, these oil lines, it's real hard to get to them with the headers on. So, I mark me a line and mark me a line on the fitting. Then you can tell if it backs off. Mark a line, mark a line on down to the fitting. Then if you need to glance at it, because it's something you're worried about taking loose, like I'm real worried about these lines backing off. So this will uh, this will ease my mind. Like that one was a little off. So it could be yellow, whatever color you want. But that makes a big old difference in uh, nothing and bolting your stuff when it's hard to get to. Because my headers fit all right in here, and it is super super hard to see those things and get a wrench in there on them with the header on so just wanted to share that look at hunter working hard <laughs> Raceway for the third uh, Lucky Seven Points race. Uh, missed the last one and finished fifth in the first one. We're now tenth in points. I don't know how far up we're going to be able to go, but we're going to be here for the rest of the year, hopefully, if nothing goes wrong. Um, got the car back together at about mm, 
four o'clock today. So yeah, we're uh, heading here, gonna unload the car, get up to tech and sign in. And, uh, See if it'll stay together. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's literally all I have at this moment because I don't. I mean, <laughs> first race of the season 3.0 right here. Uh, we're gonna uh, <clears throat> gonna leave a lot of the car the same because it was really good for us last week in the feature, as y'all can see, until some engine mishaps came to be. Uh, car was really good. It was fast, just to get some stout competition. So. Well, these bumps are making me run out of breath. It's not a GMC. I'll just tell you that. If it did, I'd have heated seats. Air conditioning seats. Okay, yeah. I missed that. It's 102 degrees out here. So, yeah. But nonetheless, uh, we're going to pull in here and get the car unloaded, get everything ready, and uh, we will see y'all in the video. Stick around. We'll show you some, hopefully some good racing tonight. We're supposed to all lap qualify, and then we'll feature, so. We'll see how it goes.
figured out what it was. We're gonna fix it and we're gonna make a little bit more change because the car was a little loose off the corner, so we're gonna make some adjustments. But uh, we got some pretty fast guys here tonight. Uh, Rodney Griffin got outside the pole. Uh, Congratulations, yeah. dude. Like, and they, there ain't no slouches here. No, you got some competition behind you. Yeah, so 102 coming by. That ain't what I meant. But nonetheless, uh, good job to him. Uh, we're gonna, we did our best shot. We, this is a points race. Uh, like I said previously, we was gonna try to see where we could be. We're just trying to make sure the car is good after the whole motor mishap. So, but everything seems to be fine. Um, and it's cooling off like 20 degrees. Yeah, so we should just get, the car should just get better as the night goes, car wise, the mechanical issues that we was having before. Uh, so I'm really happy about that. Other than that, I mean, like you said just a minute ago, a lot of good competition here. Uh, we're kind of seeing what we're stacked up against. We're currently in the middle yeah. uh, in, for the feature, fifth out of 10. Yep. So stick around, and we'll show you what goes on during the feature, and hopefully we can get to the front.